Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we are back with our Witch Hand uh, playlist or uh, series, whatever we want to call it. If you haven't seen the first two episodes, maybe check those out because this game kind of is a uh, in-order game, right? Obviously, um, we're going to go ahead and pause here. We're at the start of day 45, so if you've never seen this series, might look a little bit overwhelming, but I'll do a, a quick a little fill-through of what you've missed. Uh, pretty much, we are this character. Right? We are a witch that has kind of been banished and we're trying to slowly build up this kind of witch village. Um, we have all sorts of spells that we can craft here um, and, uh, you know, use. These are the ones that we're most commonly using. Uh, last episode, we made a lot of progress, right, with these storage chests and stuff like that uh, to try to actually um, make things look clean. Uh, and um, these are kind of some uh, locations and stuff. The Meadow Village, uh, right? The Pineapple Peak, Monstera Marsh, Broken Barrens, right? We named those the Whisper Woods. Uh, and um, yeah, we also have this Void Rift. I think the last thing that happened is there's about to be a lot of uh, combat that might be happening. We have our army of uh, wizard cat apprentices, uh, cat three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we have Zlubby. Uh, we also have a graveyard here of all of our previously killed guys. So we're kind of just generating a lot of resources. Um, the goal here is to keep eventually generating potions from our Whisper Woods, right? We have all these alchemists creating potions that allow us to generate new spells. Uh, and um, we're kind of just doing that and, um, you know, trying to, I think we're kind of angering the, uh, the wizarding world or something like that. Um, and, uh, so a lot, a lot of interesting quirky stuff here. Uh, so we're just going to continue on. Um, there is this fortune teller here that expand your playing space for a price payment accepted through the fortune chest. What do you want? Store star drop coins here as payment to the fortune teller. Click to withdraw one card shift, click to withdraw five cards. So if we do 15 star drop coins, uh, then we can apparently expand our play area for a price. Um, I don't know how long they will last for. Uh, and our star drop coins were here. We have 29 of them, right? We have had a lot of different ways um, to, uh, to start generating. And then we also have these things, the abandoned libraries and the void ruins contains a powerful evil. So this episode, I think... We're going to go ahead and allow the game to play here again as it is a kind of a real-time game. Um... And so we have things kind of slowly progressing and stuff like that, right? We're slowly generating potions and stuff like that. Um, and uh, so we're going to let this Void Rift actually kind of trigger. And we're going to deal with that before we start checking out Void Ruins and abandoned libraries and stuff like that. Um, the one thing I kind of want to do is with some of these spells, we don't have any mana, I don't think. Um, we can turn crystals into mana using the mana extractor. Uh, we are slowly generating crystals. So a lot of these locations are generating things for us. Um, and, uh, whether even that's like money or something that we can sell to one of these villages or something like that. Uh, and so we were trying to last episode, we did a really good job at kind of organizing everything. Right. Um, so we don't have any really mana. Um, and I am allowed to have, se I have seven of eight familiars. We can expand that if we need to. Um, I might try to create another familiar, which would still need a mana. So I'm going to just go ahead and take these four crystals and we're going to put it on the mana extractor since regardless, especially if we need more people, we're going to start needing some mana here, but I, hopefully this army that we have here, you know, along with, um, stuff like that, uh, will work. And also I still, still kind of a bug, right? Whenever things generate a lot of money, they kind of, um, move the location everywhere here. Um, okay. Whoa, boy. Okay. Okay. So we only needed four crystals here. There we go. Okay. A lot of shit just spawned. <laughs> a lot of stuff just spawned. It's always nice when you reach a point where materials meets or exceeds demand. Yeah, exactly. Like we've been storing a lot of the silver sage, right? A lot of these, um, um, uh, whatever these are called, these horn things here. Um, uh, but we got a lot, a lot of spooky people. Splits in half when defeated, large and unfriendly void beast, large and unfriendly void icicle. This is the one that freezes things, giant void slime. So let's go ahead. I don't have anything that will um, instantly. Okay, let's just tackle these void beasts first. So we're going to have you fight. We're going to have you fight. Um, void ogre. Actually, we're going to have, yeah, Zlubby doesn't have very much mana here, which is unfortunate. Uh, healing wave will heal everyone one which would need five silver sage, which we do have plenty of. It'll also need one um, reagent, which is right here. So what we probably should actually do is we should probably get ready to cast a healing spell after all of this combat, right? We're going to need one reagent. Um, we're going to need five silver sage. 
which we can just easily grab there. So all we need is someone to cast it. We're going to go ahead and wait a little bit. Um, and we don't want to use uh, the witch for combat. I will go ahead and have cat fight that. Cat number six fight this. Um, we'll leave these cats doing their capitalism and envoy things. Uh, this is someone that can cast spells. Um, sure, we'll let them take one damage. And then we'll fight here as well because we are going to heal everyone. So we're going to let some of these combats play out here. Dr. Pepper or Coke? Between those, I'd say Dr. Pepper. More of like a Sprite or Root Beer kind of guy, though. Um, okay, so this cat's frozen here. Um, two health, two, two, three. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So we're going to let this happen one more time. I'm going to let this happen one more time. Oh, oh, I didn't. Oh, cat number six died. I, I didn't. Okay, that that wasn't the play. Whatever. Void salts go in that chest here. Um, okay, now we're going to use... This to start healing everyone one. You cannot do another combat. Zlubby cannot do another combat. Um, cat number seven could do a combat. Um, yeah, that's a little bit scary. And do we have the mana? The mana is being created. Okay, we're going to use this mana also to start creating a new familiar here. Which we need a mana. And we need one reagent. And... Damn, who died? Corpse the warrior. One of our warriors died. Do we still have... Okay, this is the apprentice here. So this apprentice can cast that spell as well. That's what's cool about the apprentices. Okay, and then otherwise we're just going to let people heal here. Actually, we'll go ahead and use cat to fight that. And... Because they're going to heal, so that's fine. We'll let the combat happen. They can They can afford to take one damage here. Okay, killed that guy. We got a frost crystal in case we need it. Okay, so now here's two smaller slimes, so we can use that to fight. Um, okay, okay, okay. Think everything's going okay here, relatively. So now cat number two can't really do any fighting anymore. Void salts. So we healed everyone. We healed everyone one, which is good. So now Zlubby can do an attack. This cat can do an attack. This cat can do an attack. Probably honestly already want to cast another healing spell. Um, so what? We need five more Silver Sage. Glad we have a bunch of the Silver Sage. And we are constantly duplicating more and more Silver Sage. So healing wave. We need a reagent. And then we're going to have the witch already start healing everyone one. And unfortunately... We had some peeps die, but it's just the cost of doing business. Okay, so this is a familiar that's going to be spawning here at some point. Uh, which will be very, very helpful. Um, yeah, it'll be helpful. Um, okay, familiar. This cat can't really fight anymore. I, this guy should not be fighting, nor should this guy be fighting. Otherwise, they will die. Um... And what is the max HP? This is two out of three. Whatever. We'll have that cat, cat fight. Problem is a lot of our guys got frozen. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. This was definitely a very hard void uh, rift or whatever. Oh my god. See, there's even more. Because all of the uh, the people that are out are going to be dealing damage equal to how much like health we all have. So, okay. Got a good heal. So now you can fight there. Uh, Zlubby can go fight there. And we'll have her fight there. Actually, no. We'll have you fight there. Probably, honestly, do I have enough Silver Sage? Um, I want to stop selling Silver Sage to you. Because I need to start getting that Silver Sage for myself here. Can you move hostile cards? Uh, you cannot. You're not allowed to. Um, they come and mess up your whole uh, board. Um, okay. So, yeah, we're definitely going to need to build up our army before I start exploring some of these, like, contains a powerful evil. I don't know if I'm really ready for a powerful evil right now, to be honest. Um, hmm. Hmm. Um, okay, I guess we're doing that. Am I really wanting everyone to be, a, like, including my main person, one at one HP? Uh, two Silver Sage. Yeah, I guess I'll do that, and then I'll just heal my main witch super well. Um, 
think that's probably a play here. So, okay, Void Salt. So now Healing Touch, all we need is uh, two Silver Sage. Two Silver Sage. And that is it, right? Two Silver Sage. Healing Touch and a Witch. Is that not what I did? Oh, I'm so dumb. And we need a reagent. So we're kind of running out of these reagents here. But this will at least mega heal her. Kind of want everyone else to be healed one, but... Yeah, it's illegal to move hostile cards. It is illegal to move hostile cards. Uh, also, is the, is the background audio uh, too quiet for y'all or is it good? Let me know. Uh, okay, here's some potions that have been generated. Slowly make progress on that. Um... And these are kind of like our big beacons, right? Village slots, armor cap increased to double. Welcome, SLX. Um, okay, so big heal. Kind of scared on the abandoned library here. Um, yeah, we do got Numod. Everybody say hello to Zai. Um, okay, so now we want to... Heal everyone else. We also probably want to uh, summon a new familiar. So in order also for the familiar, we could do training camp. Combined with a familiar and a mana. So we need to start generating more mana. Because I need some warriors here for what? I need some war warriors for the war to come. Um, okay. And we're going to put these guys just in their slots to do capitalism things. Whatever they end up doing here. Um... And uh, yeah, that was a very eventful day. That was a very that was very rough. So the biggest priority right now is building up an army. I think that's definitely going to be the biggest priority. Slowly grinding out these potions. There's some mana. So okay, so here we go. So we combine the mana. Oh, so this is cat number. Wait, did we never give this cat a name? How dare we not get this cat a name? We have cat number seven. Do we have a cat number eight? I don't think we have a cat number eight. How dare I not? This is cat. <laughs> this is cat number eight. And. Oh, no, that that is that was the newest one. OK, so the cat plus the mana. We're going to go to training camp. I need you to be a warrior here. I also now already want a new guy, which is going to cost a mana. So we're going to go ahead and start generating a mana here. And there we go. Enough spells. So, ooh, a right of rescue. The problem is, is all of these rights cost you to sacrifice something. Place a right, a bone, and a familiar into the temple of rights to sac... I don't really want to sacrifice anyone. Combine with the following cards to crawl spell archive. Okay, we'll do that. Right, the more spells we do, we're trying to eventually create them. So what is this? We need two crystals and a spell page. That's easy. That's e. Well, I need more crystals, but that will eventually theoretically be easy here. Okay, so we just got our warrior. Here's the darkness. Oh, I need a break. The trader arrives. I don't know what the trader could really do for me. Uh, could you not just mess up the entire formatting of everything? Um, we could get extra. Um, so I could purchase extra gems. I could purchase. Okay. Ooh. So, no, okay, yeah, actually, I'm just going to purchase a bunch of gems right now, to be honest. Because that's we need a lot of those. So, we just have an influx of crystals. We have a lot of ways to make money. I'm fine spending a lot of this money here on some just an influx of crystals, actually, to kind of help this process here. How would you rate my Twitch name? Azio Dazio McDaddy. It's a, it's a, it's a 7.5 out of 10. Problem with teleport magic, you ruin it so you ruin so much pre-planned work. <laughs> okay, so let's line up all the cats here. We got cat number four, we got cat number five, we got cat number seven because six died, unfortunately. We have the fortune teller over here, which I will want to use, but it says may draw attention uh, to the void, and I don't really like that. Okay, so now spell archive. We want to go ahead and create all the new spells. So this plus a spell page plus a witch will do that. And then we also want to summon a new familiar, which is going to cost a mana, which is what we are slowly doing. We're also going to want to do more healing waves, which are going to cost some silver uh, sage and reagents. We're kind of running out of reagents. And I don't think Trader, yeah, Trader is not selling anyone here. Uh, okay. 
Oh, okay. I like the volume. Hell yeah, okay. So let's see. See how this stuff goes. I really want to explore these abandoned libraries and void rooms. We just... I don't know. I don't want to, like, lose this run here, right? We also want to... Yeah, familiar another... Su summon another familiar here. So here's a mana. We're going to use this to honestly just summon another familiar. I think that's the most important. So a mana... A reagent, which is our last reagent, so we're going to need to work on that at some point in time. And then this wizard, Cat Apprentice, is able to cast spells. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, we, oh, yeah, we definitely... Oh, Lightning Glam. Um, which I don't think we've been generating any of those. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, that used to be reagents. Um, yeah, we definitely want to start... Just keep generating more mana. We definitely need mana. Love, I would love more chests too. <laughs> you can never have enough chests. <laughs> Another apprentice? I don't know. I think I need fighters right now. I really think I need an army of fighters right now. So this is spell archive. This is new apparently. So this is a building here that we have unlocked. These are the other buildings that we're not currently using. Uh, combine with spell page times two and one reagent to create a potion. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. I don't think we're going to be using that too much because we kind of have all of these alchemists making potions for us. Um, so, but it's, it's a building, right? We've, we've done the spell, um, which means we can go ahead and sell that spell. It'll be in our spell book, but it's not going to be a recurring spell that we're going to be using constantly here. Um, okay. We can go ahead and speed things up a little bit here. Got another familiar here. So that'll be the max amount of familiars that we have. We can obviously expand that uh, if we need to. Uh, probably going to now want to cast Healing Wave, which means we're going to need a way to get uh, some more uh, reagents. Um, which... Um, we can use Terrain Recycler to get a single reagent by getting rid of two land. The problem is I was trying to keep these planes because I didn't have a planes yet. Um, I could also use the explore thing here, which I might have to do. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and buy an explore. Hopefully get some cool things from that here. Definitely want to use Healing Wave at some point in time. Um, okay, we'll have explore that here, I suppose. We got a potion. Um, I'm going to turn it back on normal speed here. Potion. We got a bog. Okay, so we don't need the bog. So that's actually, we could go ahead and slot in. We could take out Sorcerer School for a time being. Put the Terrain Recycler in. Planes and bog. So we'll get a single reagent. Um, some celestial do. Can you do necromancy? What do you mean by that? Like bringing people back alive? If so, I, um, okay. This is cat number nine. Everybody say hello to cat number nine. Cat number, number nine. The cat. Oh, nice. We got a reagent. That's what we needed. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Actually, so we're going to probably immediately use that reagent. Yeah, for the healing wave. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. We'll have, um, did I do that wrong? Or is that six? Lightning Glam. There's two mana. It's nice to have two mana. So healing wave, five silver sage. Well, Oh, I did too many. One, two, three, four, f wait. One, two, three, four, five, and a reagent. Oh, that's just the normal apprentice. I always, this is our special cat apprentice here. We got a gem deposit combined with a witch to mine what's inside. We got some reagents there. That's cat number nine. We're gonna go ahead and take the cat number nine Plus a single mana, and, and I, I need some warriors here. I need some freaking fighters. And we healed everybody up one. So these guys are pretty much full. Dude, Faded Familiar. He's he's kind of still struggling. So I'd love to get one more healing thing off, but we're going to need some more Silver Sage, which we're slowly farming from the Herbalist. Um, cat number nine. There we go. Uh, gem Shard. Okay. So I think at this point in time, I think at this point in time, we, I'll wait until day, the next day, but I think at this point in time, we can go ahead and, um, 
try to start exploring these abandoned libraries and void rooms now that I actually have some backup here uh, if I need to, right? Um, also, beacon spell is definitely, we're going to want one more moon drop, which we need to do a quest for. We also might actually do the fortune teller now. In order to do that, we want to start selling things, which like I have a crap ton of things to sell, right? I mean, we could just take, I mean, I have so many of these void salts, right? We could just sell, we could sell more of these here. I, I, I want to expand our play area, uh, from the fortune teller. Um, so here is 10 and then we need five more sell okay oh so we got a little bit more room uh, i got an achievement pay the fortune teller's fee see so now now we have a little bit more room to spread out here i don't think anything bad happened but maybe something bad will happen not a hundred percent sure <laughs> but as of right now, I think we're allegedly fine here. We're just going to be able to have a little bit more room to spread out um, all of our uh, resources that aren't being actively put into things, right? Can go here. Um, oh, that's that was a bone. We, got, we had a bone box. Oh, dude, this feels so much nice to be able to spread things out a little bit. Ooh, that feels nice. Then we have the moon, uh, moon drops there. We have the mana here, so I still want more chests. I feel like I can never have enough chests, right? And now we can kind of spread out our army a little bit here. We got a big room for fighting and exploring right here, right? We got our witch, we got the abandoned. So we have, we have a big room here. Uh, we can move our graveyard over here a little bit. Oh, it feels so nice to be able to stretch out. Oh, baby. These are all of these quirky, quirky perkies. Oh, that feels so good. It's, we got so much more room. So now we can actually give these the uh, the dedicated spaces they need. Um, combine with gem shards to create a gem heart. Oh yeah, we've been... Um, that's like a whole thing. We haven't needed them yet. But it's definitely a good thing to, to start messing around with here. Um, okay. Wait a minute. Oh yeah! This is how we were able to earn a lot of money. These Capri horns into that uh, village or whatever. Capri cards may be sold. Is it working? Yeah, okay. Um, what is this? I, I, okay, we could, we could, could spread out a little bit more here. Right, so this, um, Silver Sage. I don't know. We kind of had somewhat of a, I don't want to rock the boat too much here. I think this one could go here, and then we can just put that chest right there. And then we have our building. We don't need the terrain recycler here. Here's all of our kind of buildings that we're not actively using here. So that'll be next to the graveyard. We've been able to spread out a little bit. Oh, it feels so good. Feels good to be able to spread out like that. We are going to eventually want one more location, but we need one more moon drop for that here. Okay. Oh, wait, these Capri horns, where are these being generated? We probably want to move that a little bit. Okay, next day. Okay, we got a quest. So we probably want to complete this here. What is the quest? Something dangerous seems to be spur stirring within the fairy populations. Sickness? Uh-oh, I don't know what that is. Use a merchant to trade with the fairy city and be rewarded. Uh, I believe we're actively doing that. There you go, I can trade there. So that'll be a good, that'll be an easy quest. So then in order to get a beacon, we need three moon drops and a witch. Okay, that's fine. I don't know what this sickness is. We'll put the sickness in the graveyard though, because I don't know, that's, I feel like where that should be. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do these abandoned libraries here first. Uh, I'm going to save the void rune for the last part. Um, also, we're going to go ahead and move where this one is. We'll... Um, I don't know. This will give us store, uh, moon drops. Can have these lightning glims. Um, cause yeah, this I want to put right next to this thing here. Storage chest. So this is kind of, okay, we'll put the store. This is our big money maker right now. I always put the, the storage chest wherever our big money maker is. So let's see what happens from these abandoned libraries. We haven't uh, discovered these. We've got a spell page. Um, and if I have an influx of crystals, you know what that means, everybody. You know what that means, everybody. 
It's chess time! You can never have enough chests in this game. You can never have enough chests. Uh, I'll also go ahead and start generating another mana because we always are going to need more mana here. Spell page. So it looks like these abandoned libraries, maybe you're just going to have a lot of spell pages. Also potions, slowly making progress on that. Spell page, okay. So we're going to have you go discover the other abandoned library, another potion. Love that we just have in Whisper Woods here. A bunch of alchemists just farming a bunch of potions here for us. Another spell page. Nice, so we're generating the money. Unfortunately, half the time it doesn't work in the box the way we want it to. Lightning Glam. There we go. We completed the quest, which gave us a moon drop, which is what we need for another location. Money, money. Okay, cool. So we're going to use all three moon drops uh, and the beacon here. Um, wait. Oh, there's our storage chest. We got another spell page. Okay, so this storage chest, we're going to start storing lightning glems in it. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, there we go. Lightning glems. So I think, who's creating lightning glems? Is it... I think it's this guy here. So you can put the lightning glems right. We have these types of rock glems here. I just, I love having all of these chests. It is so satisfying to just organize all of these materials here. Uh, very neatly and clean. Also, do we have any normal warrior, 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 faded familiar? That's the wizard dude. Okay, so we have, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and then we have, yeah, we have the envoy and we have the businessman. Okay, so the library's only had those. So let's, I'm going to wait until I make this, um, <clears throat> uh, make the new location and kind of organize it. Uh, which there's the summoning beacon. Um, there's some more mana. I'm going to wait to do that, but then we're going to discover, see what this void runes is. Spooky, spooky. Spooky. Uh, once we generate uh, more gems here. That was nice having a big influx of things. Okay, here we go. Celestial source spell or shackle spell. Rite of Ambidence and temporarily improves all building product. I just don't like I have to sacrifice people. I don't I don't like that. So we'll do Celestial Source spell combined with the following cards to create Celestial Source. We need one Celestial Dew and five crystals. Don't know what it is, but we're obviously always trying to work on things that are new here. So we're going to wait. That's now where our five crystals are going to uh, be used for here. Um, see, I, I wish I, I don't know why it doesn't put all of the money in the storage chest. I do not know why. So let's get some quick. I'll let I'll let it play out. Get some stretches. I'm the good witch of the south. I don't want to sacrifice my cats. My cat army is helpful, right? Sometimes they might have to get sent off to war, but that's just the way it has to be. Sometimes, you know what I mean? That's just the way it has to be. Also, we need one more gem shard to make another gem heart. I have no clue what they're used for, but um, you know. And there's the beacon. So we're going to be able to create a new piece of land. Darkness is silent this night. We've got a new quest here, which we always want to try to do if we can for the moon drops. Avoid infection takes hold amongst the fairy cities. What the fuck? Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get let's get our let's get our envoy cats away. So the quest is bring six Capri Horn here. Oh, that's easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's your fucking Capri Horn. Okay. Um, I'm dealing with an infection. Creates one void mate at the start of every day. So we need to clear these infections. Luckily for me, I got a shit ton of warriors. So we're going to attack that. Um, we're going to... They expire at the beginning of the next day, but they will hurt our thing. So void mate. Void mate. We're then going to send Zlubby. To go fight there. We're going to fight this infection here. Okay. Uh, also, beacon. We will go ahead and start creating this. Planes. Planes and beacon and whatever. Make a new location here. Sometimes I got to send my cats to war. <laughs> okay. We'll obviously want to do this. Okay, we got a pack here. Complete a silver quest. What was that? Was that? Oh, two moon drops. Hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Don't mind if I do. 
Okay, okay, okay. Here's some void salts. We killed some things here. Void salts. Void salts. Um. Okay, we killed those infection things. So now we need to kill... Or no, we killed the base... Okay, yeah. Like, this lobby does not need to keep fighting. We can go ahead and send cat number seven. Cat number eight. Do, do the fights. We need to clear these infections here. See? And that's... Oh God, I wish I wish it was better about. Okay, okay, okay. See, we gotta make sure no one's gonna die here. I'm gonna switch you out for this. I think we'll have been able to clear the infections pretty easily. Uh, in order to heal everyone, we are gonna want some silver sage, which has been slowly growing more. Void salts. Okay, now we don't want cat number seven to keep fighting. Void salts. Okay, I think we cleared a lot of this here. So we cleared all the infections. This is gonna be the final infection here to clear. Okay, got a bone, got some void salt. So we got a lot of people to heal before I start messing with the void runes, right? Uh, we are about to get a new location here. Bada bing, bada boom. It's our first village, which slotted buildings receive 10% mana production speed. Um, I don't know if that really matters. Because, I don't know, I like having the mana next to these crystals here, and I'm not really bottlenecked on creating the mana. So this, so we gotta have alliteration here, though. So the Broken Barons is good for the production, so that's why we have all of those. Um, the village here, let's see. This is Silver Sage production. I kind of want to start generating more Silver Sage. We're kind of getting bottlenecked on Silver Sage. So I'm going to go ahead and take these familiar, one, I'm going to take the two familiar homes. I think a village is a good place for homes. So this is going to be the um, Villa Village, the Villa Village, um, because it's going to have a lot of our homes, which I do want uh, probably one more familiar, which means that I want another familiar home and I want another herbalist. So we're going to go ahead and get the herbalist spell spawn tier, and then we want the other... Um, where's the home one? Tra not training camp. Uh, yeah, familiar home. So both of these only cost crystals. I'm going to say let's go ahead and... So crystals are kind of a bottleneck here a little bit. So we're just kind of expanding. Wait, healing wave. Okay, we're also wanting to do a healing wave. Um, Healing wave, which is... Five Silver Sage. Yeah, that we're kind of bottlenecked on the Silver Sage. I think we can finally do it. Here's um, that. There's four Silver Sage. And then we need a Reagent, which that's our last Reagent. We are bottlenecked on Reagents here for sure. Uh, Cat Apprentice can go ahead and cast that. Start healing everyone here. And then Herbalist, we're going to need three. That way we can start generating uh, Silver Sage faster. I think that's really important. Uh, also, uh, start making us some more money, please, and thank you. Um, and we can start selling some of these as well. Start just building up money. Building up our economy. Uh, because that's a thing that you do, I suppose. So everybody healed up. Uh, would love to cast this again. We're going to probably have to wait, though. Uh, yo, yo, Manny. Um... And yeah, so there'll be another herbalist there. Kind of want another crystal quarry, to be honest. Um, so here's another home. So there we go. So now we can have two more familiars. So that's another reason we're going to want some. We need more reagents, though. That's the thing. We need a lot more reagents. Oh. <sighs> um. Okay. Honestly, I'm probably going to make another... Okay, how do I make a crystal quarry? Let's see here. How do I make another... We want one more crystal quarry, which is... Which I don't need this familiar home spell anymore. Crystal quarry is four crystals, though. So we're going to need to wait until we got four more crystals. Uh, yeah, I want to I want to get a little bit more crystal generation and more herbalist uh, generation. Um, Silver sage. And then all of these... All of these, I'm not... Soul Trainer, combine with any train familiar to return them to their base form. See, I don't need that. I don't need the market or the embassy. Yeah, these are just villages and stuff I don't really need. Okay. 
So still feeling like I need to recover a little bit before I discover these void ruins. I mean, it says it contains a powerful evil. <laughs> A little bit, a little bit spicy, a little bit spicy for sure. We're just kind of waiting for these, uh, these crystals. Um, yeah. Okay, potions. Slowly getting more potions here. Um, more money. Still don't know why the money works like that. That's fine. Um, yeah, we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait. Um, I suppose I could probably start. Just because this is like the big, biggest way in which I get things. Sometimes it spawns bad things, but the explore sometimes gets us a lot of reagents. Or at least gives us more vil um, locations that we can then terraform into, um, you know, stuff. Okay, so here we go. We have four crystals. So we're going to uh, get another crystal generating thing here. There we go. See, meadow. So that's already something that we can uh, craft to get a reagent. Because reagents are definitely a big part of this bottleneck for sure. And hopefully with more crystal generations, we can buy more chests. That is that is the hope. That is the hope for sure. Um, yeah. Start getting these gems here. Witching hour. Come on. Don't summon a bunch of spooky shit, please. I'm not ready. Maybe a quest. Sure. The moon is full. The counselor offers a boon for a price. Oh, dude, I like these because those are the big powerful dudes. Okay, uh, 20 star drop coins. I can make that happen. I can make that happen. Crystal quarry here. A slow, constant source of crystals. Um, we're going to put the mana generator. Kind of want to expand this villa village. Which, in order to expand... How do I... Ex There's like an expanding thing here. Um... Population growth. Yeah, increase a villager's maximum building slots. We would need a moon drop and a reagent. <laughs> we need more uh, uh, reagents, which is as always here. Gem deposit. Okay, that was that was kind of very unfortunate to be honest. I don't need gems right now. Maybe I will later. Um, okay. Yeah, we're making money. We're making money. We'll be able to pay very easily here. Um, yeah, very unfortunate that we mainly just got, uh, gem deposits. Who gifted, uh, Night bought a sub? Uh, Chonky Cat yesterday. It was a meme. <laughs> okay. Um. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing here. Uh, five, ten. There's ten here for the golden quest. And it needs 20 here. Which I could probably get by selling all of these. Okay. It's definitely more than enough. Okay, so we're going to get another big useful dude here. Um, and come welcome Chris. Okay. So we don't, we got the crit, we got the third crystal generation. I don't think I need another one. Uh, we do now want the herbalist, which is going to take three crystals, which I have exactly right here. And we can start generating more silver sage here. All these potions. Okay, village in a bottle. Can bait combine with the following cards to create village in a bottle. A village in a bottle starts with four building slots. Uh, buildings slotted into it do not produce cards. Familiar homes slot. Oh wow, familiar homes slotted here grant one familiar cap. Shit, I wish I had done. Well, eventually we'll turn those planes into the village in a bottle. Magnet spell. A magnet pulls newly created cards of the same type to it. Ooh, I want to learn how to make a magnet. Magnets can be used to streamline a variety of tasks. Ooh. Magnet land spell is a specialized magnet that pulls land cards. So we need a crystal and a gem heart. So does that work for the entire board? Hmm. Is the clicker roguelike published yet? Oh, you're talking about the video? No, I think that should come out this weekend. 
Um, okay. That is very interesting. These magnets may solve all of my issues. We might need to just... I don't know. Maybe we create a bunch of magnets instead of worrying about money right now. I don't know. <laughs> that seems very useful. That seems very, very useful. Um... Well then... Also, what was the new spell? Oh. Oh. I think we could have got the land in a bottle, but we didn't, I don't think. Okay, so there's our familiars. Lubby, this is going to be... Um... Malubby. Which does count for the, uh, the population thing there. Um, okay, so... Okay, so we want a moon... Oh, we need more reagents. That's what sucks, though. We're bottlenecked on the reagents. So we need to probably just... Get another explore thing here. And sell all of these. Okay, there's an explore... Oh. Yeah, go explore. We also want to make this here, too. Which this we could probably do. Now we need five... Okay, now that we're generating some crystals here. There we go. There's the herbalist. So we're going to start generating more herbalists here. See, all oh, those magnets will be useful because I can then actually have all my chests over here. And if it works magnet wide... Ooh. Okay, I think I understand it now. So we don't need another herbalist spell. Silver Sage over there. So now we want a celestial dew... And five crystals, and then we can make Celestial Source Spell, which I don't know what that's going to do. We also would probably like to heal everybody here again one more time. Um, but I would need reagents, and we don't have them. That's what we're exploring for. God, I love this game, dude. It's just like never-ending stuff to do. Okay, okay, wait a minute. We could... Okay, we're going to go ahead and... the ter We want the Terrain Recycler. Put the terrain recycler there. We're going to recycle these two terrains so we at least get one reagent. That'll help. That should help. That should help. Dude, these magnets, man. These magnets might solve all our issues. So there's another void runes. <laughs> so we have more void runes. So maybe we do that in the future. I don't know. Oh man, I could just like, oh, these games are so fun. So satisfying. Another crystal deposit, unfortunately. Um, uh, crystal deposit. Um, yeah, dude, everything takes these dang reagents, man. Okay, uh, we could go ahead now. Here's the five crystals. We put five crystals and a celestial dew and the witch, and we're going to make whatever this spell we had unlocked earlier was. We're about to get to day five, though. I'm just a little bit scary. Okay, there's the reagents. Um, which I probably immediately kind of want to cast here. So healing wave, five silver sage. We still haven't gotten there quite yet. We are not there quite yet. Please don't summon spooky things. Okay, quest, that's fine. Uh, bring any familiar here. I, no, fuck you. Go to the graveyard, man. Also, I think that sickness disappeared, so I think that means that... Um, I think that means... Okay, wait a minute. Celestial source, a slow, constant source of celestial dew. Um, do I need Celestial do right now? I mean, I guess I can for right now. I guess. Just to generate something, because we don't need the mana extractor there at all times. Um. Hmm. Okay. So, okay, we want to, um, okay, we don't need the Celestial Source anymore. We can clean that up. Um, okay, uh, moon drop and a re- oh, yeah. Is the population growth more important than the healing? Probably for right now. I feel like I only need one more of these. So there we go. We do a moon drop. 
so we can expand um, this villa village just so we can put the home in the villa village until we get the the thing in the bottle once we get that thing in a bottle that'll be really nice and then so now we actually have a use for these gem hearts that we were creating here uh, definitely going to start creating more of those now that we know those uh, are used for the magnets because magnets are gonna solve all of our issues they're gonna solve all of our issues here very much so <sighs> dude I love this game I love this game so much man okay there's the population growth so we're gonna go ahead and expand that oh which means we have a little bit too many people, but I think that's fine as long as maybe nighttime doesn't happen. Potion. This point in time, we're going to make some more chests. You know how it be. Make dumb chests. Top 10 chests. We don't need population spell growth anymore. Dude, I'm telling you. Until I have every chest and every chest has magnets pulling into it, I'm not going to be satisfied. I also would love to create some fireballs, fireballs, but those cost reagents. And Dude, I need to find a way to get more reagents easier. That's for sure. Okay, so this has been expanded. So we can put these familiar homes there, which means I can go ahead and put the man extractor back there. Just keep it nice and easy. Um, okay, okay. Okay. Making progress here. Uh, let's put all our cats back in line. Cat number three. Actually, you guys are business people. So go do your business. Whatever. Cat four. Cat five. I don't know why this amuses me so much. Cat seven because cat six died. Cat eight. Cat nine. And then we have Zlubby and Mlubby. That is our army here. We have room for one more if we wanted, which would take... A mana and a reagent. Everything in this damn game takes a reagent. Um, okay, one, two, three, four. Just keep making chests here. So this storage chest will now go for uh, what needs a storage chest right now? Um, uh, frost crystal. Sure, frost crystal. I'm just until I I I want. Oh, it's so satisfying, dude. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And once I start doing magnets, man. Once I I'm gonna make two more chests, and then we're gonna start making magnets, man. And that is going to be the most satisfying shit on the planet. On the planet. Okay. We're constantly making money from these things, constantly making all this silver sage here, so we're not no longer bottlenecked. We're also going to start making celestial dew, just in case we need a lot of that, um, which is nice. More potions here. Okay, new spell. Shackle spell, nexus spell. We don't know what a nexus is. Resources stored in a nexus are usable by any building. What? Resources stored in the nexus are usable by any building. That is interesting. I don't think I need that now. I'll just do Shackle spell. Creates a Shackle card that can be used to cr create shackled enemies. Do you mean to shackle an enemy? Mana re- It though costs freaking shackles or uh, reagents though. It's always the problem here. Automation is key. We're building an auto collector. <laughs> okay, there's another chest. So this will finally be for our mana. I'm telling you. We need a chest for everything and only then will I be satisfied especially oh dude the magnets man once we get once we get these magnets cooking so I think I only need one more chest and I might be wasting my time doing this but it's gonna make it's gonna make the rest of the game so much easier and satisfying new quest didn't complete their last quest because I ain't sacrificing shit bring two gem shards oh I only got one gem shard um, I think this is the point where we can go ahead when we kind of have some downtime by, oh, okay there. Okay. Uh, we can go ahead and explore. If I want to get to these void runes, I just want to be prepared. I want to have everything in place before we do that. You know, I want to have everything in place and another abandoned library. 
Yeah, dude, our Silver Sage production here. Gotten a lot better. Another storage chest here for the moon drops. And so at this point, I think we start building magnets now. So how does this work? Land spells combine with the a magnet land is a specialized magnet that pulls in land cards. That pulls land cards. What does that even? I don't even. I don't even understand what that means. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, so here's, we're we're good with the. Uh, we are good with the chests. So now we just need one crystal and one gem heart for a magnet. One crystal, and we've been making them. That's why I'm glad we've been making them here. Because then I can just have all of my ingredients here, and no matter where it gets created, I think it's gonna automate itself. Uh, to a great place here. Voidling here. Uh, cut number nine. And then hopefully we can get a, a gem shard, right? Void salts. Gem deposit. Hey, that's that's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and check the abandoned library. I don't think we've ever gotten anything spooky from that. There we go. Two gem shards. That's how we complete this quest. Get a moon drop. So here's a magnet. A, cr a card stacked here will pull newly created cards of the same name, which is typically bind magnet spells to literal magnets, but this is not strictly necessary. Some witches prefer to make getting groceries easier by casting it on their refrigerator. However, accidentally placing a spellbound magnet on a spellbound fridge creates a feedback loop that spoils your milk, making the practice uncommon. So like, I think, if I were to put the storage chest on the magnet, or... Wait, what? Wait, what? So how is this going to work? So the magnets will always come. Oh, but I have to put them in the chests? What? How does that work? Let's test this. Let's test this here. That's not really what I was expecting to happen, to be honest. Okay, so a gem gets created all the way over here. One sec. So much going on. So gem gets created over here. It's going to automatically magnet there, and then I have to... Huh. So it's not full automation, then. But, I suppose it's better? I don't know, I don't know if I like that. But, we'll make it work, we'll make it work. So, because I, f I feel like I'll, I can still clean up a lot of this stuff, right? Like, if I put the chest down here, um, like I can just, for everything, I can have a magnet underneath it. Right. So then I, I just know I can easily pull it in. So, right. So for like the magnet can go under the crystal. I hope there's magnetic chests. Me too. Me too. So I can just at least, I don't know. That, that does work a little bit weird to be honest, but maybe I just have a row of things that really need magnets. Cause a lot of stuff, I'm not going to need the magnets. I can do it the self. Right, maybe I just have one row of magnet uh, collection here, right? So that could be this row here. Have the magnets underneath. Celestial dew here. Um, so like, yeah, what am I generating here? So we have the silver sage here. So let me go ahead and create a new magnet. Um, so boom. So we'll make a couple magnets here. I think it will still help clean things up. I just think it is not exactly the way I thought it was. That's okay, though. I'm sure we'll unlock some sort of magnet uh, thing. Also, the magnet land spell, I have no clue. Is it land Magnet land is a specialized magnet that pulls land cards. I don't, I don't think we're going to be using that one. Don't think we're going to be using that. Uh, day is about to end here. I hope I just have... I hope I have like one or two more days before a bunch of monsters spawn. So here's another magnet, right? So for this magnet, 
we're gonna do star drop coins, and then we can put the star drop chest there. So any star drop stuff generated, right? That's the thing though. I, it's like, it's, it is kind of nice to sometimes just have the generation generating straight in the chest. Second, I can get a freaking magnetic chest, man. Because I'm assuming they'll use magnets. Use a merchant to trade with a fairy. Yeah, we're doing that. We're doing that. Okay, so let's go ahead and create another magnet now. Um, and a gem heart. So we'll probably create like four or five of these magnetic things. Right? Um, the rest of everything I think we can kind of figure out. So here is also... Because I just want all of the inventory stuff here, you know what I mean? So this one, I think I can manage. So the ones that I can kind of manage myself, I'm not generating that much, right? We'll put up here the things I'm going to constantly be generating besides potions, because I can handle that. Um, okay, so now we're gonna do the Silver Sage with the Magnet. Um, okay, we're gonna create another Magnet here. Um, another gem heart. Potion. Freeze spell. Shielded from all end of day damage. Okay, I will do that as a, like, just in case. If I have to sacrifice someone to not lose the game, I suppose that's the time to do it, right? And we completed a quest. Moon drop. Can you rename the chest so you don't forget when one is used for when you use it? Uh, you cannot. That would be a good idea, though. That would be a good idea. Uh, we can keep selling Capri Horns. It's a good source of our money. So it is, it is satisfying to, if I have a place for a magnet, it won't cause all these weird glitch things. Okay, so here's another magnet. We'll start already generating another one uh, with uh, one of these. We're kind of running out. This magnet will be for, um, I guess, the Capri horns. Capri horns. Probably want like, yeah, I'll create like, honestly, I'll use all of these gem hearts, even though it's not the most important thing to do. Hmm. I don't know what this symbol means. Does that mean something bad is going to happen? See, and like at this point, we can probably sell a bunch of this silver sage. Here's another magnet, which means we're already going to create another magnet. So this magnet will be for... Um, what else are we kind of generating? Um, Celestial Dew? I mean... We also have this storage... See, this I'm going to just leave the way this is because that can just go straight into the storage chest there. I'm going to try to not make it too, too hard on myself. Um, so this magnet could be for, I guess, Celestial do. That doesn't seem to be the most important thing ever. Um, and then honestly, I actually do, do we even need any more magnets? Cause I don't care about the potions, the potions I can take care of myself. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, I'll, I'll have an extra just for potions. That's I, I can do that. That way it keeps it everywhere here. So we're going to have the magnet here now for uh, Celestial Dew, suppose. And yeah, we are still super low on reagents here. Um, okay. This is very... Very odd way this these magnets work. I cannot wait. I'm sure there's going to be some sort of magnet <clears throat> magnet chest. So, okay. So, we're going to create one more 
magnet for potions. Earned 500 star drop coins. Just got an achievement for. Um, yeah, so this bottom layer, all the things I'm currently actively just always generating. And so here's our final magnet spell. We'll keep magnet spell down here just in case. I feel like that's something we're going to use. So we're going to do magnets once a potion spawns. That means we do need to keep one potion on it the whole time. So we're technically going to be one potion down, but that's okay. Sorry, just lurking, watching, not chatting much. Just doing editing. I'm watching the videos today. Is cooking, eating. Yeah, yeah. Don't ever feel like you gotta apologize. Ah, messed up my chest. Feel like there's gonna be an enemy that spawns here. The moon is new. The void moves against you. Yeah. Uh oh. Void rift. Uh oh. Uh oh. And this is our inventory, so I feel like. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like they're going to mess everything up. They're going to mess my entire inventory system down here. So we're going to go ahead and kind of have a battle arena over here, I think. Right? We're going to have a little... We're going to create a battle arena over here. Right, we're going to have our graveyard here. The graveyard is going to slowly... Um, block... And now we're going to have cat number four, cat number five, cat number... So this is this is our new this is our new location here. Because I do not want them messing with my inventory stuff. I'm going to wall them in. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, okay. That does mean we do need to prepare this shit. Um, which I could have another familiar... That's the thing, I need these reagents. So that means before this thing spawns... Um... Yeah. Oh, so the magnet doesn't even like what what was that? What was that, magnet? What was that? Why didn't you work there, magnet? I don't understand. I don't understand. It didn't work there either. I this is I'm very I'm very very salty. Okay, we're going to do one more exploration here. Like look at this. Okay, so if I do this, why the fuck are you not going to the magnet? You have one job. You have one freaking job. Okay, there's two explorers. Okay, there's the po uh, potion magnet there. Okay, we have two explorers. Hopefully we can find some reagents because I really need them. Okay, there's a forest, which we actually don't have a forest somehow? I have like... I have like almost everything. Except a forest. Which does make me want to beacon. Huh, okay. Oh, and like anytime I take things out of a chest, it just like messes them up. Okay. Okay, let's do that. That thing's about to spawn, which is a little bit sketchy. But it is what it is. See, so then from here I can just do the potions. There's a planes. Okay, whoa. Holy shit, dude. Thorns? Who's giving them thorns? the fuck? Why are there thorns? Thorns attack increased by current armor value. Jesus. These guys are getting hard. Fuck. Okay. Um, that's freaking terrifying. Okay. Void beast. That's insane. That is insane. Actually, yeah, this guy needs to stop exploring. You need to fight that guy. Oh, a cat died! Oh, god damn it. Dude, and I just have no reagents. Uh, okay, y'all need to do something productive here, y'all. Okay, okay. Summoning beacon. Okay, and then... <sighs> um. Okay, 
You can keep hitting. I need a heal. Oh god, yeah, those got that cat died almost. That cat almost died. I need this healing, but I don't have any reagents, man. Okay, two void salts. <sighs> um, okay, Zlubby could fight that guy. Um, definitely gonna need to start generating mana. Uh, because we are gonna need to be summoning more people here. I just don't have any reagents. Hopefully we can find some from those explorations. Uh, Thorns Crystal combined with a familiar to create a Bramble Pelt. Ooh. I know, we need to build our army up. And that's the thing, we, if I could just be healing them up, all would be good in the world. Okay, you can now fight this guy, this other Bramble guy. Bramble. Um... Man. And like, I don't know, I need reagents for the fireball spells, like all of this shit, dude. Um. Hmm. Cause I also for even summoning, I need a reagent. I need some reagents from these explorers. Okay, okay. Void salts. Okay, two, four, that's still happening. This is still happening. I have all these two ones. I don't really want to die. Let's see, are we gonna get a reagent? Okay, okay, two mountains here. So it's gonna take Celestial out. We're gonna put Terrain Recycler in. Two mountains, so we can get at least one reagent. Okay, so now this is a one, one. Okay. We'll, we'll use our witch for a 1-1. One, one. Actually, no we won't. We're gonna use... Uh, this guy. I don't want anyone to die. Okay, come on. Lot going on. Another Thorns Crystal, which I am interested to try out here. Okay, so that's a 1-2, so we're gonna take him back. We're gonna take this now 1-3. To fight that void ogre. And also this guy, we could we could have a stronger guy hitting the void cocoon. Um gem deposit. I don't care about a gem deposit. <laughs> I don't care about that. Um no oh my lord. Hopefully we don't have to deal with this for a while. Um Okay, have this one three fight that guy. And this is a 1-1. One, one. I don't want him to die, so we'll go ahead and use us. Even though that's terrifying. And we're about to get the reagent. I don't know why we're... Like, I don't know. Am I missing anything? To get reagents? Because the only way I know how is via the explore or via... Um, uh, to the, the lands. Uh, mana extractor, market spell. Cause none of these guys I can get. Yeah, reagents. Reagents is definitely the biggest bottleneck that we have with our entire situation going on right now. Terrain recycler. Yeah, there's no. How much are we exploring? We need to be exploring more. That's definitely like a, a big thing here. Okay, okay. Also, summon a familiar man. Mana and reagent. Can you stop requiring reagents? Okay, here's a healing wave. Oh, God damn, dude. God damn. Um, okay, we need, what, five silver say, or yeah, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the reagent, we're about to get to heal everyone at least one. Bone, so I'm I am now at freaking one HP of my main character, which is not good. Not good at all. Um We're gonna go ahead and create some more mana here too. 
because I know that will be useful. There we go, reagent. So gonna, I'm gonna heal everyone one at least. Whoa! I didn't do the math right. Rip cat number five. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh God, dude, everyone's dying. Everyone's dying. War is hell. War is hell. Okay, killed everything finally. Now it's just I need all these guys to recover. And I need to make a bunch of new people. Might be able to make some thorn people. Oh lord. Okay, we're going to Zlubby. Actually, yeah, let's bring all the exploration stuff over here. I don't know, I kind of like the exploration stuff happening over here though. Okay, healed everyone one. And then here's a beacon with the forest. So, need more reagents here. So, we're going to... Um, okay, we're going to get a bunch of explore... I, I really need to start uh, doing a bunch of explorations here. And I have like three explorers going on at once. Um, we have a huge influx of these. Okay. This is crazy. Welcome, welcome, Chalky Cat. Okay, so explore, explore. I need y'all to find me some reagents, otherwise y'all are gonna die. So y'all better actually try. Y'all better actually freaking try. Crystals, mana. Dude, I want magnetic chests. I want magnetic chests so bad. Okay, bunch of locations here so we can at least craft those in the terrain recycler. Very, uh, very inconvenient though. Cause I don't even want to explore these void ruins yet. Another void rune, spell page. Hopefully we'll discover something useful. Okay, here's another forest village. Slotted buildings receive more pro potion production speed. Wait, oh, I already had a forest village. Oh, I already had a forest village. Well, I'm kind of dumb for that one. Whatever. Um. Uh. I mean. And terrain res oh that reset it whatever so this is another village uh this will be tree trunk tops tree trunk tops um and then we'll put the celestial source back there I don't think any of these we really need. So we got we got room. We got room for some more things here. Wasn't the biggest thing I needed to do. Abandoned library. Dude, I'm just not... Not finding the things that I need to be finding, dude. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. Um... Yeah, we're gonna really need to heal everyone here. We're doing good. We've organized our village here a lot. Had to do a lot of combat, that's for sure. Oh god, come on. B. No, I think we can tell if we're gonna if it's gonna be nice to us based on this little icon here. Yeah, and we're really bottlenecked on reagents. Bring reagent six. Do you think I'm made out of reagents? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you fucking smoking game? What? How? What the fuck are you smoking? What? 
What are you smoking? What? Um, God damn. Like, the, I, I don't think I'm missing anything. Apparently you should be. I, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> what? Maybe I need to be generating a freaking, I don't know, maybe we get another alchemist or two here? I mean, shit. Just to get more potions to start, like, I don't know. So the alchemist, yeah, let's get another alchemist here. Um... Which is two crystals and a witch. Start generating some more potions, I suppose. Because I need to find these things. Jeez. Taxes be like. <laughs> okay, here's a reagent, which we're going to immediately spend. It's like I either use it to summon new people or heal everyone. Honestly, it's probably better to summon. So we need a mana... And every time I bring something out of these chests, that's the problem. Every time I bring something out of a chest, maybe I just need to give these things more room. They, uh, messes everything up. So I think I just need to spread these out. I'm going to use those thorn crystals. Those seem interesting. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. So this is, yeah, we kind of just have to expand. It somehow looks even more messy. Okay, okay, so we're going to mana and reagent. Where's our little wizard apprentice dude? Who can cast spells? I don't think he died. Did he? Did our wizard that can cast spells die? The apprentice. Oh man, he did. Okay. Dude, I don't. I don't understand. Cat number five. Rip cat number five. Cat number five will be missed. Oh, jeez, dude. Okay, another alchemist here. I need to start rapid fire discovering these things. I don't think we need more than that, though. Um, okay, so we're going to have you do that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Sorry, I got a message just making sure everything was okay. Um, okay, don't need any more alchemists here. Um, also, we're gonna... We're gonna start organizing our uh, graveyard here a little bit. I need some room. Um... Plains and forest. Okay, we can terraform. Here we go. We can terraform for another reagent here. Okay. Dude, I mean, and maybe these void runes are, like, super powerful, but, like, I'm so scared to even mess with them. You know what I mean? Okay. So there's a famili summon familiar... Second we get another reagent, we're gonna use that. Got a freaking Voidling, thanks game. I don't need to be fighting Voidlings right now! Oh lord. Okay, spell. Restore two health to all familiars. <laughs> but we have to sacrifice people, and that's the village in the bottle. Cell Celestial Sanctum spell is able to empower your witch. Okay. I don't know what that is, but we'll try it. We'll try it here. We need a moon drop, which I don't have. Come on. God, he's so hot. He's just been sitting on the green screen light. You were going to overheat yourself, buddy. 
You're going to overheat yourself. You do not need to be doing that. Oh, any other cats been out of the graveyard? Unfortunately, yeah. Dude, I'm starting to get a little bit worried, man. Okay, here's the reagents. So we're going to summon mana. And it's still, it still just messes with all the chests. <laughs> Um, oh my god, chill, Jojo. Chill, Jojo. You don't need... You don't need to be burning yourself, I promise you. Okay, so here's a familiar. So we're going to combine... So warriors... So could I combine a Thorns Crystal with a warrior? I don't think so. So, okay, let's get a... Let's try what this Thorn Crystal is. We'll have one of those. Okay, and the Sanctum spell. So we're definitely going to want more familiars. So this Sanctum spell, oh, we need a Moondrop, which we do not have. We need that for completing quests. Definitely going to want to be able to complete that at uh, some point in time here. Yeah, so we need to make Zai a uh, mod on the uh, YouTube. Okay, if you don't want to chill on my lap, can you chill on the other chair? Don't lie directly on my light, because it is a garage light that I am improperly using for a green screen light. And I know you don't understand that, Jojo, but I need you to. Dude, the Bramble Pet, like, I don't know, I don't know. There's some things about this game that kind of like, I don't know, because I can't take a Bramble Pet. So he has Bramble, can I give him I think I need to start generating mana. That's what I need to do. I need to start getting more mana. Can I can I train one that's already quirky? Because my guess is no. Yeah, you can. So. I feel bad. I want, I know he wants warmth, but this is just, I am not using a proper warmth source and he will definitely hurt himself. Oh. <sighs> Okay. I am stressing the hell out. I don't understand where I'm supposed to get these reagents. I really don't. I really don't. And like, I don't know, one how are one how is a 13 with attack value currently increased going to help at all? I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. My phone is blowing the hell up. I don't know why. Okay. Um, I am just terrified. I'm just terrified all around. I'm just terrified all around. To be honest. I mean... The witch is shielded. This is only a temporary one attack boost. Create a void rift. That's to kill people. Summon a fairy city, so I don't need any of those right now. Wait, I thought I had gotten an additional one. Did I not take that? I must have taken something else, I guess. <sighs> okay, here's another familiar, so we will take the mana for this familiar to go train in the training camp. Um, and here's another explore card. I don't, I need reagents, dude. This is like, this is getting really rough. I don't know. Do I explore the void runes? I just, I, I have no way to recover if like a shit ton of spooky stuff, uh, spawns. You know what I mean? It's kind of the concern I have here. There's a warrior here, and I can't I can't give a warrior any cool crystal or anything like that, because why would you be able to do that? Um Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, fortune teller to give me more room. But they get mad at me when I but they get mad at me when I 
They can get mad at me when I use it. Um, okay. Six crystals. Oh, I can do that. I can do that for you. One. I can do that for you. I can do that. Okay. So here's two moon drop. So what did I want to do moon drop with to summon another guy? No, that, that wasn't it. Okay, here we go. Celestial Sanctum spell. So we want a moon drop. This can go in the chest. So a moon drop. A gem heart. So this is our last gem heart. So we probably want to start crafting more of those. Which we use... You know, I'm just going to like take these chests here. Yeah. Like I, I can just temporarily take chests because the magnets don't work the way I want. Okay. So we need a gem heart... A Celestial Dew, which I do have. The Celestial Dew is right here. And then the Witch. So then this is Fortune Teller. 25 coins to expand the play area. That helps. Okay. Another library, which isn't going to do much for us here. More mana. Definitely want to expand the play area. I need more reagents! <laughs> but I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, okay, what is what is okay, what is okay? What the hell? Celestial Sanctum, every witch needs one. Celestial Witches of the First Realm draws their magic from the celestial bodies of the heavens. Sanctums like this one allow them to further align themselves with the stars, increasing their mastery over fate. So this is a village. Combine your witch and celestial dew times 10 to grant them attack or to grant them plus one armor. Huh. So that's what this celestial dew that we've been slowly generating is uh, is useful for here but it costs 10 that is a lot but okay we got a little little sanctum over here i suppose uh this is going to be called the the special the special sanctum um dude i am i just need reagents so bad um <sighs> Okay, let me get let me expand and then I guess we'll try to start doing these void runes, even though that's pretty spooky. Um I am eating Great Depression meals. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to eat out a lot less because uh <clears throat> my money situation has gotten a lot tighter lately, um, because of uh YouTube revenue and shenanigans like that. Kind of plummeting. Um, um And like, the, I only have one HP. I just, I cannot get these reagents. I cannot. Okay, two. Twelve. What do we have in excess of? It's being a little awkward right now. Okay, I need uh, one, two, three. Okay, we expanded the play area. Ah! Void nest. Creates a haze that only witches and familiars may pass through. Will create enemies until destroyed by a warrior. Okay, that's fine. That's not the worst thing ever. I'm gonna bring this warrior over here. Ah. Oh. I need reagents, man. I fucking need reagents. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I don't know. I guess I need to keep exploring. I probably need to be finding more potions, too. Um, and I guess I do have this thing that 
Armor cap increased to double the Witcher Familiar's max health, because if I keep doing training camp... Oh, I don't think I can do that multiple times. I don't even know, man. Okay, so now we're fighting the Void Nest, so we actually can use that. Okay. Start trying to buy these more exploration things here. I need reagent so freaking bad. Uh, we have like a lot of this, so let me sell a lot of these void salts here. Okay, let's start exploring a little bit more. Genuinely bothers me people struggle to live in this country. Yeah, I mean we just passed it or I guess they were attempting to pass all this bill stuff here in America Giving other countries more money that we ourselves could uh, you know, just use to solve homelessness and, and uh, you know health care in situations like that, but We gotta we gotta we gotta fund wars. That's that's, that's what happens um, Got A little bit more room to spread out I wish it would go up vertically, because I don't like having to scroll like this. Um, God, I'm I'm getting really worried about this lack of reagents. I may I think I just got it. Okay, okay, we got a reagent. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Okay, <gasps> heal everyone one. Actually, no, it's probably better. I think I I think it would be better to use that to summon. We need to summon. We want to always have the max amount of stuff here. Okay, one mana, one reagent. And where's our witch? And then we need to heal. We can heal everyone one. <sighs> okay, envoy, let's make them happy. Another library. Doesn't really help us. Um... Okay, here's actually, okay, here's 10 Celestial Dew. So we can put, I want, I want armor on the witch. So she just doesn't die. I don't quite understand what all these spell pages are. I just played this game for a few hours. Yeah, it is very easy to just accidentally play for a couple hours. I feel like we've been playing for literally only five minutes and we've been live for an hour and a half. So maximum familiar cap reach, create more familiar homes to increase the familiar cap. Yeah, I know that. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know that? Okay. So she has one armor now. Okay, traitor. Please sell me reagents. Also, could you not just spawn in the middle of my village? Nope. No reagents. You are worthless to me. You are absolutely worthless to me. Absolutely worthless. Be banished. Be banished. Oh. Okay, I guess we didn't try to get that void thing. Okay, new spell. Grants all familiars one armor. Armor cannot exceed Mac familiars max health. Freeze card. Astrolab. Trains familiars into Astrologian to improve the production speed. I don't need that. I'll take Rite of Iron. Maybe we actually sacrifice someone. Grants all familiars plus one armor. Armor cannot exceed familiars max health. Because, I don't know, maybe we just summon 10 familiars was an achievement. We're going to go ahead and give this guy a mana. And you can go train in the training camp. And is there anyone? I don't know. Maybe we sacrifice Zlubby. But Zlubby's got two damage here. I don't really want... I'd, I'd rather just heal these guys as much as I possibly can, you know? Um, I like the idea of giving everyone armor, though. Um, start exploring more. I wonder when we're going to be able to find, like, Explore 3, you know? That is an OP wonder. Uh, which one? Because we got a right. Which, where did it just... Oh, okay, right of iron. But we do have to sacrifice something maybe for it. 
Um, after we clear this void nest, um, we will probably... Oh, wait, we could be selling... Oh, actually, we'll improve that. Uh, I'll just sell these Capri Horns for normal value. Just need to keep exploring. Finding more reagents. We can heal up a couple people, and then we should be then good, hopefully, to start tackling some of these void runes here. That is why I grabbed the wonder. Oh, that makes alchemists. Oh, oh, I missed what happened. You grab the wonder that makes alchemists produce reagents. That's insane. That's really good. Uh, we, yeah, the ones we have so far are Radiant Beacon, which is the uh, current and future villages receive plus one slot. I'm mad I took this one. Armor cap increased to double the Witcher Familiar's max health. Uh, could be nice. I have not been able to use it, though. I've not really been able to utilize it. I just, we have been bottlenecked on reagents so, so, so bad. Um, okay, Bog. Which, where's our terraformer? Right here, we're gonna need another location here. We have been bottlenecked on it so bad. Oh my god, Voidling. Okay, you know what? Guess Cat. Cat will be at one HP, so if we have to, we'll sacrifice Kitty. As sad as that is. I don't care about abandoned libraries. I really don't. I really don't. I had to make a magnet chest for reagents because I'm producing so many. I want a magnet chest so bad. All we have is magnets. We have magnets, but that's it. Ruined foundation. A village once stood here. Um. Kind of just probably want to destroy that, to be honest. Kind of want to just destroy that for a reagent. I need reagents so damn bad. Okay, we have a little bit more room to spread out here. God, dude, I need reagents. I need reagents so, so bad. So bad. Uh, we'll go ahead and create another chest. So we're use, utilizing magnets a little bit here. Oh. I want magnet chests so bad, though. You don't know how to make magnetic chests? The tutorial showed me? No. Nah. Wait. <gasps> oh. Because I tried to do that, but I... Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Maybe I missed that. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. That changes things. That changes things. Okay. So we're going to uh, get some reagents here. That's fucking huge. That's huge. That's huge, baby. Okay, in that case, let's speed up the production here of uh, Gem Forge. Oh, that, that changes everything. Oh! Oh, that's so good. That's so fucking good. Oh! 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 
Oh, I'm in love. I'm in fucking love. Oh my god, let's go! Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Okay. That changes everything. Torchy, hey, man, are thanks okay? for following as well. Appreciate it. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. Well, now, now we need to turn everything into magnetic chests. That's the goal right now, I suppose. Oh! We can actually automate. I was so sad when I, the magnets didn't work the way I thought they were going to work. Okay, uh, crystal. Oh, let's go. Crystal. We need a gem heart. <sighs> Let's go. Okay, so you can start making those. We don't need any more chests. That can go there. Oh, that's amazing. Oh! Oh! Oh, let's go. I'm in love. Actually, we do need one more chest for... No, the potions are fine the way they are. Um, okay, that is, dude, that fucking huge, fucking huge. Thank you so much, Manok, for making me realize I'm a dumbass. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Um, that is fucking crazy. Uh, still need more reagents, but when has that changed? When has that been different? Let's start making more mana. So I just need to turn everything now into a magnetic chest, and then I'll be satisfied with my life. Okay, so let's start getting... Okay, and then we need uh, another um, gem heart and another crystal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. I am in love. Now it's going to actually do the things that I thought it was going to do. Please don't summon a billion enemies. The moon is full. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, because this will actually be good. 20 star drop coins. I can make that work. And then I'll summon a crazy awesome guy and then I'll sacrifice a cat. It's going to be sad. Also, this was Bramble Pet. We were at cat number eight. No, cat number nine. Okay, this is this was actually cat number 10. And this is cat number 11. And this is cat number 12. They do interact weirdly with alchemists. Yeah, I'm not really worried about that because I just have a single magnet. That'll work fine. <sighs> okay. Um, oh, I'm in love. Um, <clears throat> okay, what do I have a lot of that I could sell? Yeah, you need to be making money for me. You want bones? I could I could sell bones. And you want I don't even know what you want. Alchemist take in one thing and then spit out two, which then get drawn into the chest. Yeah, once you get that um uh whatever it's called thing you were talking about. Ooh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's a reagent. So I'm going to go ahead five silver sage. A reagent. I uh, would like another alchemist cat, but that's not my priority here. Um, priority, actually, I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna go ahead and sell. Because we need 20. 20. Yeah, let me just, I don't know. All this void salts I could sell. 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 And then we're going to do that. We're going to get a big guy. And then we'll, for the first time ever, actually use one of these rituals here. Ooh. Wait. The mausoleum grants familiar corpses a small chance to resurrect. Mystic workflow automatically stacks unoccupied familiars into available explore and deposit. The lunatorium grants one extra choice option when learning a new spell. 
or the Faded Hourglass grants one extra quest. I guess just more spell choices here. The Resurrection could be cool. Actually, yeah, if I resurrect, then I could just keep sacrificing ones I resurrect. Okay, I tried to be nice. I tried to be a good witch. It's time for no longer being a good mid witch. It's no, and we are no longer a good witch. Uh, we will now sometimes. Oh, I need to. I need to build it first. We will now sometimes. Uh, we will now sometimes resurrect people and murder them all. Yeah. Okay. Magnet. <clears throat> uh, we will magnet. Um. Honestly, the void salt one. And then we'll keep making magnets here in a second. But for right now, I would like to heal everyone. So wait, so I just realized. Oh, so that quest, instead of giving me a creature, gave me uh, a, a, a boon or whatever, which is way better, probably. Can you build multiple mausoleums? Uh, we've, this entire time, within about six hours of game, or I guess five hours of gameplay, we've only gotten three of these uh, special things. So maybe, but I'm going to assume not. And also... Um, uh, yeah, I discovered a new thing that might improve automation even more than magnet chests. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wonders. Yeah, that's what they called. Okay, so we healing waved. Super helpful. Um, new spell. Restore two health to all familiars, but we'd have to kill something for it. Create a random bone card, or sorry, land card. That is, that would, that would get us out of our, uh, as much as I want right of rescue, pathfinding spell would get us out of this freaking, um, issue that we've had. Um, okay, let me go ahead and do this mausoleum here. So now we might actually be able to start getting some reagents here. Reagent. Um... Probably want to heal everyone one more time here. Wait. Why did the heal... Oh, to all familiars. So I'll use that reagent to restore health to my witch. Because I need that. Okay. Um... Okay, I mean, I would like to, I, I do, I just, yeah, I feel like as much as I would love to heal up all my familiars, which let's put them in a line here. We have cat number seven, cat number nine, cat number 10, cat number 11. Stop mating. Cat number 11, cat number 12, cat number four, and we have Zlubby and Mlubby. Okay, okay. Dude, these magnet chests change everything. Oh, wait, there's still a bunch of bones. No, I want to now conserve the bones. We're no longer selling you bones. Sorry. Sorry. We are no longer conserving you bones. Now I do wish I had another alchemist. Uh, or uh, whatever the guys that can uh, actually help things here. But that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead also... Where are the crystals? Oh, here it is. Because I haven't been getting very many of them. I'll hold on to them. Okay. Um, so once we do this mausoleum, then we're going to just make a bunch of Pathfinder spells, right? With all the bones that we have. And then we're going to just try to slowly... Um, we're going to try to slowly, slowly, slowly uh, get all of our chests to be magnet chests, all while healing up our army. And then maybe next episode we'll deal with these void runes. <laughs> um, because I'm a little bit scared. Actually, you know what? I might do this. Imagine like just not putting things in chest automatically, but also taking them out automatically. Ha ha ha. That is, that's pretty cool. I don't remember what this is going to cost here. Probably could start creating a little bit more mana. Now that I have an excess of these magnet chests. Okay. So we need, f oh yeah, we need five mana here. So in the meantime, while we're making mana, uh, we're gonna make some more magnets. 
Um, which is, we need the gem hearts, which also means, oh, we need to be making more of those gem hearts. And... Let's see. Um, I don't even know what went in that chest. Oh, is that? Yeah, that was the gem shards, whatever. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. And then bones. Two bones. Start actually getting, um, I mean, that's a very, very unoptimal way, but we don't have any other way to get reagents uh, right now, so. Um, and actually, we're going to use this one reagent that I just create. Oh, wait, no, I didn't even create. Yeah, I have to do it two times. Um, I need to heal my witch. Two silver sage. <gasps> oh, dude, I haven't been generating silver sage at all. I'm so dumb. This whole time I haven't been generating silver sage. Um, okay, healing touch. Two silver sage. A reagent and my witch. It's just so she's not at one HP here. No steady cash flow. Uh, we have a decent way when we're trading with people. Uh, we have these horns and stuff like that. Kind of been focusing on other things. Okay, our quest is two gem shards. Ooh. Yeah. Um, as much as I want magnets. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll cancel this. I'd rather complete that quest. We'll hope to find some more. Okay. Yeah, I could be making money in that Silver Sage. Yeah, where is where's our Silver Sage? Yeah, Silver Sage. Yeah, we just weren't even producing the Silver Sage there. Okay, mana. Produce a little bit more mana. Uh, moon drop. And then also, we don't need to improve relations anymore so we can start selling um, things. See, and now, because we have these magnet chests, I can actually have all of these neat little... Like villages. I love it. I love it. Um, okay. So that was the healing touch. And so now we'll go ahead and create one more land so then we can, um, so we can do the things. Also, all these potions. Love the magnet for that. One city is producing glems, which I sell in other cities. Infinite money. <laughs> Gotta love capitalism, baby. Okay. Um, we're going to destroy that with a terrain recycler. And now go back to making more magnets, which is a crystal. And a gem heart. Okay. Okay, and then start exploring with this cat. Oh, wait, the herbalists. Yeah, I see what's happening. So we're going to have to probably manually do that, but that's okay. So another magnet. Um... Let's go ahead and magnetize um, probably the reagent chest, even though we are kind of very quickly utilizing that. And then we have one more gem heart. Want to automate everything, dang it. Oh, this is so beautiful. Put a stack of Silver Sage on the Herbalist, which I replace regularly. Yeah. Dude, this is so pretty. I love... Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, because we are going to have to fight pretty soon here. So I'm just hoping we can kind of prepare and autom uh, automate before that happens. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep using this money to keep exploring. Now that we can kind of focus on that a little bit more for right now, anyways. Also, we finally have five mana for the Mausoleum. Um, kind of want to definitely gonna need, need to <clears throat> repair that back up. So there's the magnet. Could you go ahead and work on that now? Uh, this magnet we can go ahead and combine with um, 
I don't know. I don't know what was in that. You can start exploring. Uh, we now need to stock back up on the Capri Horn thing. Okay, okay, see, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with this automation here. Another abandoned library. Now we're cooking. Okay, here's some spells here. Okay, Sun Altar spell. The Sun Altar prevents your witch's death one time. That's pretty good. I don't have a void core, but... Um, and I would like more familiars at some point. Combine with the following... To create a village in a bottle, which has the four building slots. They cannot produce anything, but they have the homes. Yeah, let's get the village in the bottle. That's a big, big help for more familiars here, which means we're going to need two moon drops, a gem heart, which does mean we're going to need some more of that. Um, so we're going to need to start generating more gem hearts. Um, we have the two moon drops. So I'll go ahead and get it ready. We have the two moon drops. We need a potion, which is interesting. Which we'll just go ahead and hold on there. Oh man, dude. This game is so fun. <laughs> New quest. Defeat an enemy and be rewarded. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um, okay, a lot going on right now. A lot going on. Wait, why does... Wait, something's going on with the Silver Sage. It's not keeping it on. I don't know if that's because the magnet is messing it up now. I know, I'm a little bit scared on the Void Runes. Trying to kind of get everyone to a healthy position here, but. Um... Yeah, I really. Oh, everything was paused. I'm so dumb. Herbalist takes in one Silver Sage, spits out two, both get spent to the chest. Yeah, I wish it didn't work like that. Wish it didn't work like that. Okay, gem heart. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Gem heart. So we'll, we'll use the witch for this. Uh, we'll get some more explorers. Okay, let's stockpile some herbalists here. The herbalists are on strike. <laughs> We're about to get the mausoleum. Oh, Voidling. There we go. Familiar corpses have a small chance to resurrect. It's really good. Uh, what just happened? I don't know what just... Oh, we completed the quest. Okay. I think Nexus fixes that issue. One of the things we didn't take. Yet. Okay, um, yeah, let's start stockpiling mana. <gasps> we'll start stockpiling mana. Um, and then we're probably going to want to explore, and so we can kind of try to automate a little bit more of these chests. Um, and then heal up before a big combat. Um, oh, here we go. Nice. Okay, here we go. Perfect. So, okay, we have this village in a bottle. So, all of these familiar homes are now going to go here. Oh, my gosh. I have now way more room here. So, I don't even know what's going to... So, this is a village in a bottle. So, it's actually going to be called... Uh, bubble, bottle... Bubble bottle. Got all of these. Got to have um, <clears throat> repetition. Okay, mana production speed. Okay, well, we will put the mana extractor here, I suppose. Um, 
And then, I don't know, I don't really... Combine with spell page times two enragements to create a potion. Yeah, I don't care about that. Don't care about the Celestial Link. Don't care about the Soul Trainer. Don't care about the Market. Don't care about the Embassy. Okay. So we have plenty of room now. Yeah, we can minimize them. Yeah. I might do that later. I'm kind of okay with it now. Um, okay. So let me... Let's see. So now we really want to start healing things up here. So where's our witch? We don't need the bottle and a spell anymore. We can now start... Let's get another land. And then we'll heal everyone up one more time. And then I will be a lot more confident. I'll be a lot more confident. Um, yeah, we're going to want some gem hearts being made. Which means we're also going to want to be keep exploring things. This is the gem heart. Taking these two mountains and putting them in the terrain recycler. Might start trying to generate more potions a little bit faster, to be honest. Um, Because, yeah, terrain... Actually, yeah, I'm going to put terrain recycler right here. And I do think we're going to try to just build two more alchemists. I, I want to be freaking creating potions out the wazoo. So two crystals... We'll have the witch there. We'll keep Pathfinder spell here. It is going to be a common thing here for us. Common spell. Yeah, two more alchemists here. We're going to start generating potions a lot more, being able to make progress a lot faster. Witching hour. Might resurrect some people. I don't know. Be pretty sick if we do. <sighs> Use a merchant to trade with a fairy city. We easily will complete that. Easily, easily. Uh, another gem heart here. So we're going to want a crystal and a gem heart. There's an alchemist we will put right there. We're going to want to create that one more time here. I want so many potions because that's progressing us further here. Um, and we didn't resurrect anyone. That's okay, though. That's okay. Um, in the meantime, if we have an excess of money... We're going to want to be exploring here. Okay. So here is the other alchemist. So yeah, anything that's like just kind of generating things, we're going to make small. It makes them look weird, but whatever. Oh, we could expand things for... Uh, 35. It's kind of a lot, but that's okay. So we're going to create more magnets here. Hopefully exploring to get more of uh, these things. Bog. That will be used for a terrain recycler eventually. Okay, okay. We're, we're, we're getting better here. Here's a void beast. Uh, we'll be okay. That'll be okay. Everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. We have some reagents, so we'll uh, probably uh, also start healing. I really feel like I should get a an alchemist. Um, but I don't really want to create anyone because... Um, no, I probably should. After I make this magnet, I'll probably summon one more familiar. Because I think the likelihood... Also start creating some more mana. Okay, there's a magnet. We'll go ahead and turn... Uh, these spell pages... Sell a bunch of them. And then, yeah, that can go magnet. Before we make another magnet, let's go ahead and create mana. Right, and re uh, that's not a reagent. Reagent. Let's create one. I just want I want one more of the, the mana. I want the guys that can cast the spells. That's what I want. That's what I want. Um, okay, so now we have a uh, magnet for the spell pages, magnet chest, it's another summon familiar, so we're not going to need another one. Uh, what I will do here, ooh, new potion, right of wealth, I don't need coins, nexus spell, this is what, okay, you're talking about, resources stored in a nexus, resources stored in a nexus are usable by any building. 
Okay. So we need a moon drop and four magnets. Okay. Well, that'll be something we work on later. That'll be a later thing for us here. Also, oh, keep forgetting about this damn silver sage here. Keep forgetting about that. Um, also, we could probably make another crystal quarry. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, there is about to be some hella combat, actually. So let's go ahead. Um, five silver. Ah, oh, but I need silver sage and I haven't been generating it. Oh, I've been a bad boy. I've been a very, very bad boy. Oh, it's a little bit spooky. Worst case scenario, though. Um, I don't know. We'll be able to figure it out. We'll be able to figure it out. Allegedly. We should get some... Okay, so familiar. So I want to go ahead and turn this familiar into... Um, I don't even need mana for it, do I? Or do I? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Move the chest near the producer for memory. I want to keep all my chests here. That's the thing. That's the thing. That's the whole point of a lot of this. Okay, we got the wizard apprentice. Um... Hmm. Um, we'll go ahead and before all of this happens, we can do the fortune teller. Okay. Hopefully it's not the bad one. Whoa. A, a ancient sentinel, non-threatening, will not damage your witch at the end of the day. Tireless defender of what remains a once mighty empire. Aware of your presence, but could not be less interested. Uh, envoys placed here will slowly improve relations over time. Well, I do have an envoy. Where's my envoy? Start trying to improve relations there. Maybe they'll uh, they'll they'll like they'll like me here. Why does it say that there's one enemy? Oh! Well, fuck you. It's not good. Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, this will probably be the finale for this episode here. You were, Ah, see? There was technically an enemy that spawned right before. It was not good. So, okay. The mausoleum returns a fam fallen familiar. Who'd we get? Revive a familiar, okay. There's a void rift here. Okay, and we have how many of the... Uh... Okay, we only have eight of those. Um... Okay, these are just kind of generating things. This we want to keep open. This we want to keep open. These we don't need to keep open. This will keep open. This will keep open. This will keep open. Um, this we can close. Probably going to eventually want another familiar home, but we're fine now. Um, okay, Void Rift. So we're bringing out all the people. If anyone is about to die, then we can sacrifice them. This is why I expanded at the beginning of the day. Yeah, I wasn't very smart. That's okay, though. Okay, cat number seven we might sack. Okay. Okay, so we're going to wait to do the res, but after one reses, then I think we're going to do the Rite of Iron, which is... Nope, not that one. Which one is it? Oh, it's the armor one. Yeah, never mind, I lied. So the sac... Give everyone one armor. So everyone technically heals one. Because why, do I not have enough reagents for a heal? What, what was happening? I didn't have the I didn't have the silver sage for it. That's what it was, which we're about to get. A lot of silver sage, hopefully. So yeah, what, I want to see what happens here. Okay, there we go. I don't know. Doesn't really work properly, but whatever. Okay, healing wave. Kind of need everyone to heal right now. Be very useful for if everyone just healed. It'd be very, 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 very useful. 
just want to keep playing this game, man. <laughs> but we have other games to play. Okay. Okay, so that was the healing wave. I think for the time being, we can uh, probably expand like this. These are the spells we can't really cast. And then these are three more that we want to use. Okay. Okay, let's deal with this combat here. Um, so anyone that's about to die, we can still utilize in a couple different places here. No one's about to die though, as Lubby is. So we'll do that. We'll say you do that. We'll say, what is a void bomb? One touch will set it off. Damn. Fucking sucks. Um... Yeah. Okay. We'll let this happen. Um, okay. Um, okay, is anyone about to die? One, 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 one. Okay, this guy's going to die here. So I'm gonna just, it sucks. I'll go ahead and void bomb, sack him. So sad. So sad. Actually, I'd rather do that. This is the cat. Hmm, whatever, we'll void bomb. Man, a lot of our people gonna die here. Okay, two, one. Um, okay, I think we're gonna sack. So, okay, right of iron. Place this right a bone and a familiar. This bone. So we're gonna sack him and give everyone else armor. Got an achievement, perform a right. Oh! Okay, <laughs> a lot more dead people. There <laughs> are a lot more dead people. It's okay though, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it here. Okay, two thorn crystals here that I, I really don't like the, those, to be honest, like at all. Okay, so now we just want, okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing too bad here. Nothing too bad. I think we're gonna be okay here. Getting rid of all the void cocoons, the void nests. We're building relations with these guys over here. Um, been making money, so we'll go ahead and start exploring. Uh, we'll go ahead and start generating more of the crystal shards or this uh, <laughs> storage heart things. A bone. Okay, cool. So all the, these are the remaining cats uh, and everyone here. We have cat number four, cat number five, cat number seven, and cat number nine. And then we have an, oh, oh man. Wait, what cat is this? We have cat 12, is this cat 13? Cat number 13. Um, yeah, and we're hopefully looking for more reagents. Or lands to turn into reagents, I suppose. About to fight off the void nest there. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, produce flora gems. Okay. Another place here, I suppose. It's okay. Uh, I guess. As much as I want to stay up to 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Hope you have a good night, my man. Okay, here we go. Two uh these... Can put in the terror recycler. Um, say crystal storage gem. 
And we will start making... Go ahead and explore again here. And we'll get a uh, new spell. Free spell. Astro. Okay, I don't really need... I don't really care about these. Um, I don't really care about... I'm going to sell that. I don't even care about making that at all. Um, Nexus spell would be good here. But I kind of want to get all my magnets done first. Okay. Quest, use a warrior to attack a fairy city. I'm not going to do that. I like I got screwed. He was about to kill him. He was about to kill him. We'll probably use reagents to start summoning. Yeah, we'll use this one reagent to probably summon another guy. Uh, what else was I doing here? Um... Yeah, okay, so where is it? Uh, summon, one mana, one reagent. Gonna need some more peeps here. Yeah, we do, we're do. doing big episodes for Witch Hand now, because it's not the most popular series on YouTube, but I am obsessed with this game. So normally what happens whenever there's games that I really want to play, um, but they don't do very well, I tend to just try to make them big episodes. And there we go, finally got it here. Ruined Foundation. I don't really need more homes, so we're just gonna recycle. So my goal here before we end this episode is to get like all of our, um, is to get all of our chests magnetic. I think that would be quite swell. Also, how much of a, uh, mag I'll, I'll wait for that. Um, okay, so we have, Temple, this little thing to improve. And then we have all these little villages that are doing villager things. Um, and then we have these ones that we actually kind of want to care about here. Dude, look at how nice everything looks compared to the way it used to look. Um, and then I do might as well make one more house. Um... Which is familiar home. That's easy. Uh, we just need five crystals and the witch, which we also now have. Uh, yeah, cat number third. Cat, any other cat could do this. So there's another familiar. Um, I don't think we need to summon any more than that because I probably want to heal. I don't like survival crafting. Also, TCG witch hand. I don't. It's a little bit of a different game. It's a little bit of a different game. <laughs> um, also, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, make sure we're producing a shit ton of that. Um, it's a stretch, but it counts. I mean, a little bit. 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 Um, okay. So... We want to continuously be exploring here because that's the biggest way we're getting these kind of magnetic chests. Um, we'll go ahead and start making more of the hearts. And then we can start making more magnets here. So one crystal, one magnet heart, and a magnet. Also, this game is just so addicting. I feel like I've been playing it for 10 minutes. It's been almost two and a half hours. I'm going to try Hell Card. Uh, what is that? I've not heard of that. Might have seen it, I don't know. There's some more reagents. Here's a familiar home. We can slot in the there. So now we can have 17 peeps. And okay, we got cat four, five, seven, twelve. Uh, I want this guy to be a warrior. This is cat 14. And we're gonna take a mana. Might as well start generating some more mana here too. And we're gonna take that mana, take that cat, put him in the training camp. Okay. Okay. So we're almost done here. Just wanna kinda see if I can get most of my magnetic chests here. Um, 
So we'll go ahead, magnetize the gem heart thing, and then we'll go bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Um, yeah, we only need to make a couple more magnets here. It's a new roguelike deck builder released at 1.0. Mm, there's so many, so many good games coming out lately. Like next week, we are, I think next week we're covering six different new games. Uh, kind of insane, honestly. Kind of insane. Um, to be honest. So maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, okay. And then we're going to make yet another magnet. And we will magnetize... Um, probably the bone chest. Just really want to get like all of these magnetized. Um, we can then go ahead and get another explore. I think we can start selling more of the horns. Where are our horns? Yeah. Sell all the Capri horns. We're going to market it as a Capri sun. That's how we're marketing it. Um, okay. Explore that. Yeah, we're, we're very close to getting most of these magnetized here. And that, that will just make things so much easier going forward after we have magnetized and just uh, automated everything that we possibly can. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be absolutely freaking lootly wonderful. The quest here, six Capri Horn. Okay, sure. It's worth that versus selling. We got a land here. We got two moon drop. Starting to be able to stockpile these moon drops. Okay. Ooh, third waypoint, baby. Wait, auto caster. Spell cards slotted into an auto caster. Oh, will automatically pull the cards they need from a nexus. Okay. So nexus, I think, are gonna be like little banks. Definitely third waypoint spell, though. Definitely third waypoint spell. Which I think I think we're going to wait on that. I think I think we're gonna wait for the next episode to do that. Uh, to be honest, but that is a very big important thing that we want to be doing for sure. Um, okay, so here's a magnet here. We'll go ahead and use this for the moon drop. Um, and now we're gonna want to start creating another one. Probably like five, ten more minutes of <laughs> creating magnetic chests, and we'll be good. <laughs> we'll have everything fully automated, at least for. Uh, at least for our chests, which is going to be just... It's so satisfying to automate this shit. Oh, man, dude. We've made so much progress. Okay, I don't need another familiar home. Um, We'll go ahead... And... Oh, yeah, we need... More Silver Sage... Definitely want to make sure we're generating a bunch of that. We'll go ahead and sell some crystals here. For another explorer. Uh, probably want to do a healing spell too. One healing spell I think could actually... Probably gonna do a summon. Um, to be honest. We'll start making more mana here too. Uh, magnet, so this will magnetize um, what needs to be magnetized. We've almost magnetized all the chests. Um, yeah, we are almost there. I'm going to go ahead and sell all these lightning glims. I'm sure there's a more optimal way to do that, but whatever. Magnetize that. Um, and then, yeah, let's go ahead and create a new guy, which is going to take a reagent. It's going to take a mana. It's going to take our witch. Okay, dude, we have made so much progress. So much progress. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. There we go. Magnet chest for that. Starting to get more reagents by doing the explores. Um, we will... Yeah, we'll go ahead and summon one more. 
Uh, we'll summon one more here. Uh, we'll go ahead and start exploring a little bit more. That's the main way we're getting those green gems. Uh, to get more of the, the hearts for the magnets. It's the most important thing humankind has ever seen. Just the fact that, oh man, everything just goes to the correct chests is so good. So this is cat number 15. Cat number, f oh, 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 cat number 15. And we're going to go ahead and train you to be a great warrior. I know you can be. Um, Cool. Oh, my God. Dude, the automation here. The automation here is wonderful. Oh, it is wonderful. Okay. I don't think we need any more familiars here. I think it would be smart to now do a healing. Oh, we don't have any more reagents, so maybe we'll get it. Another void runes. Definitely going to be something that we're trying to tackle here in the future. And I think we need like two or three more f f magnets. Which does mean we need to keep doing explores. Constantly, constantly. Those gem deposits. This is cat number... Cat number 16. We're going to take a mana here. Train you up to be a great warrior. Oh my god, dude. We are starting to... We are starting to... We are starting to vroom here. Um... A dark ritual permanently destroys a village. We'll just say Rite of Rescue. Heal everyone too. It's a decent uh, thing to use sometimes here. I don't want to sack anyone, but I will. Actually, we're sacking a cat. We're sacking a fucking cat. I hate to do it. They may come back though. They may come back. They might. They might. Oh, a letter. Day 64. Okay, let's pause here for a second. Where's our letter? Where's the letter? Also, Silver Sage here. Now we're starting to get Silver Sage. Where the fuck's the letter? Don't know where the letter is. Where's my letter? Excuse me? Where's my letter? You said that there was a letter. Does anyone see a letter? I think that's bad. If I can't see the letter. You have so much Silver Sage in my game. On the left under cards. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear sibling, a judge is coming. If you do not do what they say, they are authorized to put an end to your expedition. This must not occur. However, you cannot interfere with an official agent of the Council of Fates, at least not directly. Find a way to deal with them or otherwise survive their judgment. Huh. Okay. 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 We're almost here. Um. Start generating mana. Um, start generating more magnet chests. We're almost there. We're almost to having all of our, uh, we're almost there to having all of our chests be magnet. That's all I want. That's all I want in my life is to have all my chests magnet. And then, and then we'll be cooking and then we'll be breaking bad cooking More terrain recycler. We are going to sack the cat though. I did say we were going to do that. Um, so heal two. I hate to do it. Cat number nine. I honestly feel so bad doing it. Oh, there's still a cooldown. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. I suppose that makes sense. Um, okay. Now we have an influx of silver sage. We can sell some of it. And, uh, Create another magnet here. Oh my god, dude. The automation that is happening right now. Okay, all of these are magnet chests. Um, I don't really know when we're going to need Capri. Like, a lot of these are now unnecessary, but at this point, I, I just need. I need everything to be a magnet chest. All right? We just need it to happen. Going to use someone with armor because we are going to sack something here. 
Oh, it's so beautiful, dude. This automation. Oh my gosh. So I think we need three more total. Uh, three more magnets, which we're making two. Because these, these uh, chests here don't necessarily need them, but I want them to. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> that's what we're going to do. So there's that. There's a crystal. I think I messed that up. Okay, so now we're going to take these things out, put a magnet on that, and then keep exploring more because that's how we're getting more of those green gems. God, I could play this game for hours, man. Oh, this is so... <laughs> I love this game! <laughs> Building relations here. Hopefully they'll love me. And join my wizard empire. Okay, Rock Glam. We're almost there, y'all. Almost there. So we just need one more magnet. And I'll have all of the magnets. All of the magnets. Gem deposits exactly what we wanted. It is a great game, yeah. It's such a good game. I'll uh, we'll go ahead and keep making more mana. Some land. There we go. There we go. Okay. We'll have a... Uh, there's another fortune teller. We'll save that for next episode, too. We'll save that for next episode. And we can go ahead and take that gem heart out. Oh, the automation. Oh, it's so good! Okay, a boon for a price. Mausoleum, we got a resurrection, baby! Uh, star drop coins times 20, sure. We'll be able to do that here. Uh, herbalist. Okay. And gem heart. Cool. And keep creating them because we will need more magnets for whatever the nexus is or whatever. But we have finally done it. We have finally done it. Uh, pretty soon here we'll have everything be uh, magnets. Which is uh, very good. Okay, we got... <gasps> we got Mubby back! Or Mubby back! Oh, we got Mubby back. We got Mubby back. That's sick. That's sick. That's sick. Mubby was a huge asset to the team. So we have Cat 4, 5, 7, 9, 12, 13, 15, Mubby, Zlubby. Uh, who's the apprentice? We'll keep the apprentice out. Because otherwise everyone else here is just kind of on standby. Um, they all kind of need a heal. And this is unfortunately, I hate to do it, where cat number nine is going to get the axe. Uh, I hate to do it. I honestly really do. But whatever. Store two. I mean, if we, if we have the resurrection thing, I can actually start utilizing that. So we got an army that might actually be prepared for all these void runes that we've been spawning and stuff like that. We finally have every single magnet chest, all of our chests have been magnetized. So if I take things out, yeah, they always kind of just go in a random place. That's why I'm trying to give them like space still. But the automation here now is insane. Everything's just gonna go and I'm giving it plenty of space. So when I spawn things out, they don't screw everything up. Oh my God, I love this. I love this so much. I love this so much. That chest, that chest. Um, honestly, we can just put the potions here since we're utilizing them a lot. Oh my gosh, I am in love. I am, I mean, look at this. Oh, it's just gonna all automate it. It's just going to automate it all. I love it. 
Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, that's so beautiful. So then, like, I can look and I can be like, okay, well, we could be selling more horns here, right? So we could, you know, and I can, like, rearrange these. And they'll sometimes still mess up the directions, but otherwise everything is just being automated and it is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. And we unlock a new spell. Moon Altar restores one health to your witch at the end of every day. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, let's see. What is this? Two crystals, a gem heart, a void core. So, these, these, okay, these are the things I need to create, right? The Moon Altar spell, the Nexus spell, the Third Way spell. Um, those are the three that we'll really want to do for next episode, right? Uh, and start working on it. Uh, last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this golden quest before I forget. I feel like that's an easy thing to do right now. Um, oh, I did not mean to just put that in the explore tab. Uh, whatever, we can grab 10 of these lightning gems. Sell. And you wanted 20? That's fine. That is fine by me. This is kind of like Stacklands meets Factorio. Yeah, definitely more like Stacklands. Uh, maybe a little bit with the automation. But yeah, definitely like this more uh, than... Uh, <clears throat> Definitely like this more than uh, Stacklands. I like both games, but I, I definitely think I enjoy this more. Also, yeah, I have no clue what color command you're talking about <laughs> for Twitch. Okay, so let's see. Let's just do... Oh, did it already do it? Wait. Oh, we got a summoning familiar. So we got another uh, glubby dude. We got another glubby. Oh, man, have we recovered. I was, I was a little bit worried, to be honest, at the beginning. But we have, we have done it. We have a new familiar, and we shall name him. Um, Tlubby. Oh, man, dude. I'm in love. I'm in love. So we'll let this day end. And, uh, oh, my God. Just these chests, man. These magnet chests. I love them. I love them. I love them. So we'll finish this day, and then this is a good stopping point over a two and a half hour episode. <laughs> Stacklands viewers, eating well tonight. <laughs> Changes the color of your name. Hmm. Yeah, I know Twitch has some default settings, but glad we have the mausoleum resurrecting people here. Council of the Fates has sent a judge. Okay, 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 we're gonna pause. We're gonna pause here. This is another good thing here. Creates quests, prevents summoning. <laughs> Combined with a thousand star drop coins? If this quest is failed, a, frozen, a village becomes frozen. Oh God, do we have things to worry about. What a cliffhanger. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it this soon. 999 out of 17. Prevents familiar summoning. Oh my Lord, we might have to kill him. We might have to kill the judge. I don't know. I don't know if that's the way to do it. I kind of burned the letter. I don't know if that's a good thing to do. But either way, I guess that's a good cliffhanger here. Uh, we have made a lot of progress automating our witch village uh, to a super awesome degree. Love these. Well, definitely. We have an army. We have a judge. We have void runes. We have the fortune teller. We have the ancient empire. We have the third waypoint spell, the nexus spell, the moon altar spell. We have our work cut out for us, but luckily we put in the work, we put in the hours, and we automated the shit out of our village. And I'm very excited uh, for next episode uh, to uh, see what happens here. Definitely a lot going to be going on. Uh, so if you're still watching this after the fact on YouTube, thank you so much considering this is over a two and a half hour video. You guys mean the most to me. Um, and I hope you enjoy in this series. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like other big boy YouTubers say, to be notified uh, when more Witch Hand videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. And if you guys are going to be grinding out some Witch Hand on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.